Hi, I'm Maddie, and um, today I'm going on a journey. It's one I haven't been on in quite a few years because today I'm going back to school. Walking to school is great, isn't it? It's a fun way to hang out with your friends, and moving around helps to keep your body healthy. But it's important that our journey to school is safe. The pupils at this school are really well informed about road safety and they're going to share some of the things they've learned with us. Guys, take it away. When we are kids, our journeys look a bit different to what grown-ups see, but grown-ups don't always realise this. We see things a bit differently. We tend to concentrate on what's right in front of us. And we don't always pay attention to the detail around the edges in the way that a grown-up might. Our bodies are still growing, so we're not always tall enough to see the same thing as grown-ups can see. Because of the way our brains are developing, we find it much harder to tell how fast a car is travelling when it's coming towards us. And we sometimes find it difficult to concentrate on more than one thing at once. But that's just like a lot of grown-ups. Fast traffic is dangerous. Cars are heavy and hard. A car travelling at any speed can hit and hurt someone, but the faster it's travelling, the harder it will hit, and the more damage that will do. That's because of the kinetic energy in a moving car. Kinetic energy is the energy of movement, and the faster something moves, the more kinetic energy it has. All of these moving things have kinetic energy. And the faster a car is travelling, the further it will take to stop. It's the same for us if we're running really fast. To show you, we've set up a kind of race. OK, ready, steady, go! When we decide we want to stop, our brain has to send a message to our legs to tell them to stop moving. And even when our legs stop, it sometimes takes a little while for the rest of our body to stop moving. The point is, the faster we're moving, the harder it is for us to stop moving. And it's the same for cars. Come on! One of the reasons fast cars are so dangerous is that they can't stop quickly. So if a driver sees a danger in the road, they can't stop straight away. Because first, the driver's eyes have to send a message to the driver's brain, which will tell the driver's foot to push down onto the brake pedals. And then the brake pedals will press onto the spinning wheels, which will gradually start to slow down until eventually those spinning wheels will come to a stop. While all of that thinking, reacting and braking is happening, the car is still moving. The distance a car travels from when the driver first spots a danger to when the car actually comes to a stop is called the car's stopping distance. Let's have a closer look at stopping distances. A car travelling at 30 miles per hour will take 23 metres to stop. That's all the way from here to here. And a car travelling at only 20 miles per hour takes just 12 metres to stop. That's about half the distance of a car travelling at 30 miles per hour. And this is why it's so important for cars to drive slowly around where people live. We need footpaths, cycle paths and safe places to cross to keep children safe from traffic. Traffic creates dirty smoke in the air that can make us ill, gets into our lungs and affects our breathing. We've had a really fun day learning about road safety. First, we learned that children don't always see the same way as adults. Then we learned that fast traffic is dangerous. And the faster a car is traveling, the further it will take to stop. But what do you guys want grown-ups to do to keep you safe near roads? We want slow traffic. We want foot to pass. We want safe places to cross. We want cycle paths. We want less traffic. We want safe places to play. We want clean air to breathe. We want grown-ups to walk school with us. Well, there you go. A huge thank you to this lot and thank you guys for watching. Bye! Bye! Bye. Right, who's walking home? Bye.